Condenser. I got one from the uh, Auto Wrecker, and uh, it, they said it was working when they took it out. It's not in the greatest shape, but it was way cheaper than a new one. So we'll throw it in here today, and I'm hoping I'm trying to get all of this. I've already taken the the grill off, and all that plastic crap over there is just on with clippies. The grill is a real pain in the butt. Um, it's got these hidden clips that go through these slots. You gotta get a screwdriver in underneath between the grill and the bumper to pop the tab up so that you can slide it out. And then I'm just disconnecting or pulling off all the screws for these uh, sub brackets here. I've got this one pretty much loose. I've gotta get this off out of the way so that I can get this up and then the AC condenser will come straight up. It's actually not bolted in, it's just held in with grommets in all this stuff. So once I get this off and uh, get the hoses are right on the side here for the, um, for the high and low pressure side here and uh, so I can get those out and then I should be able to pull it right up. So we'll just keep going with that. Um, everything on, uh, on this end seems to be a plastic clip or a 10 or an 11 meter socket. Um, so that's what we're going with here. I've got a few hidden bolts that I've got to do like this, but um, pretty much you can do everything with a rattle gun or an impact or uh, air ratchet or whatever. I like to put my tools right on the battery so that they can arc out between there and make lots of sparks. Especially like to do that when I'm working on the fuel system. It gives a little bit more uh, energy to the situation. As I've been working on this car, there's an oil leak that I've got coming from one side, from that side of the car. The bottom is wet, but it's wet up the engine too, so I've got to dig into that at some point and figure out where that's coming from. It's probably a manifold gasket or something that I don't, I'm not going to bother with anyways. Vehicle that's got high mileage and it's just really a daily driver. Sometimes you just live with the oil spot in your garage floor. or you just park it outside. So put this guy in here. Try and do these little projects pulling apart the least amount of crap that you have to but sometimes it just it's inevitable that stuff is just attached everywhere and we'll just put, we'll just put that there and then we've got this guy here and what else do we have on this we're missing nice thing about videoing this all is that just like you and I forget how to put this all back together I can just go back into the video and go, oh yeah get in there something else something else okay. 
guess. This guy here. Take this out all the way. Yep. It wants me to undo all the bolts. Really, I just didn't want to take the bumper skin off because it's not just the bumper skin. It's, it's that bit and it just, this never ends. It's really annoying when the bolt of the nut is too tight to do by hand and too loose to do with the ratchet. piece of tape. We weren't going to get that off without a struggle. Okay, I'll keep digging at this and then uh, in a bit, it turns out I have to take the light out to get this bracket loose enough to lift that out. But to get the light out, I have to pull apart the bumper here because I don't have a wrench that goes like that. Um, so that's a pain. And now I only needed to take the light out so that I can get to this other this other bolt here, which is a different size. Found lots of spiders, which is good. This is the wrong size, so we'll get the right size, which is probably sitting right here. That's better. So we're gonna, I guess, disassemble the whole front end to do the job we want to do today. So now you have the benefit of watching this video and realizing that you don't have to figure this all out. Ah, this like never ends. You can't imagine working in the factory and to put all this crap together. Okay, we'll get this other light out and then uh, we might knowing more this. so there's two bolts here and here and then it wiggles and you think oh I've almost got it but there's two more bolts hidden and they're behind the fender well uh, the fender liner which just pops out of the way and one of them you can reach without taking the fender off, and one of them you cannot. So we'll start with taking the fender off. Or oh, sorry, the uh, guard, the bumper. There's a bolt right here. 
like that. And then that basically releases the bumper from the, the guard, the fender. And then you can see the one bolt facing the back. So that goes in there. So there's spider webs. There's a bolt here on the side. behind all the spider webs. That guy, I gotta get up. That one. And then there's one going up. Right in the same area. This one's slightly different than the other than the other side was, but so if you need to change your headlights, this is what you have to all do is pull this bit of fender or bumper back. There's four bolts, two down there, one here. the whole light, the screwdriver, so here in New Zealand you don't have to battle rust, corrosion, all the time, you just battle spider webs, but fortunately there are not very many poisonous spiders in New Zealand, so ever see one that is going to bite you and make you go to the hospital. Come on. Sweet merciful crap. They probably make a tool from this. Okay, so there's those two lights off. The bumper's pulled forward, except for this clip here. These are those notoriously crappy Japanese invented clips that are kind of a one-time use thing. So you end up, there's a spider. There's a dead spider. You end up beating the crap out of them to get them out, and then you end up just using zip ties. At least that's what I do. And then next time the zip tie, you just snip. Come on, you got you. Just leave already. Nobody likes you. There you go. Okay. So we pretty much have this off. Now, we'll just leave it dangle like that so I don't have to do any more lights and clips. And now you can see this thing's got to come off so that I can get this off. And it's just like never, it just, like, I don't even. It 
who designed this that we need to take the whole car apart to do some, you know, to swap the thing. And then like this. This is gonna save you in a collision. When you hit a semi-truck at 110 kilometers an hour, this here, this is gonna save you. So we've got all sorts of weirdness happening. I've got, apparently, to take this all apart just to get this air conditioner out. I just feel like that's excessive. I, at least four bolts here, maybe that's all. This seems to be loose, but I'll go ahead and get into this and you don't want to film that. So this had to come off apparently. So we did that. I think we're going to be pretty much back to the rear seat by the time we got access to this AC condenser. And I guess these guys here somehow are holding up the whole show. You can see why it's got a hole in it there. Um, a stone chip went right through this opening in the grill, in the bumper, hit there, and it's just out of there. I did try uh, some redneck welding on there, but the JB weld wouldn't hold enough to seal it, so. We're getting closer, maybe, maybe. Oh, that's what we wanted. So now that's out of the way. We'll do the same on this side. said you pretty much do everything with a 10 and 11, an 8 to 10 and 11 on this car. And uh, hopefully we're nearing the actual moment of triumph where that thing comes out of there. We'll see. I'm sure there'll be something else. Give us a chance to clean everything up. Get rid of all the spiders. So if you're doing a rad swap, you're doing the same thing as what I'm doing now. If you're doing light headlights, you know what you gotta do now. You gotta disassemble the entire car to get at that. Okay, that's, see now that, see how that's loose? I just have to disconnect it here. And there's one bolt in the middle of the two hoses that holds the clip, holds it, holds it in. still coolant in the system, it would be right now, polluting the environment. So we don't want that. So we make sure we drain the system through the Schrader valve here into the environment first. And that way we don't get it in our face. Actually, you're supposed to go to an authorized refrigeration mechanic who will then evacuate the system properly. And there's a clip here, some kind of a thing that has to come off there, but we'll look at the other one. Slides over. It's a blue, a blue thingamajig, and it's probably got a tab on it or some kind of weird thing, and it's got to come off of there. This needs to just wiggle a little bit, and then see how it's just walking itself out of there? There'll be O-rings in there. We don't want to damage. You can see that the plug-in clip now, right there. 
somebody had put in, you see the green film on that? That's um, leak detector stuff. You use a black light and it shows you where the leaks are. It was very obvious where the leak was because it was just out of there, so. damage here right there and right there a big stone hit and psh. you see the new one put it in let's clean that radiator first So what you want to do is be extra vigorous and flatten out all of the veins while you're cleaning this. Jokes, don't do that. This radiator is actually in not bad shape. Some crap in here we'll clean out. Clippies. I'm happy with We'll slide this guy in into its home. It's got to line up to those holes in the bottom. Come on, I know you want to. Plug-in, pipe, other pipe, bolt that I dropped, and as, as far from my reach as possible. Isn't it funny that when the bolt drops, it goes to either where you can't see it or where you can't reach it? It never goes right at your foot where you can just bend over and grab it. Hmm. Someone should petition the government for hundreds of thousands of dollars to dis determine why that is. They get money for figuring out why the shower curtain goes in on you while you're showering, so why can't they figure this out? We snug that right in and we go till it strips and then just back it off a quarter turn. No, don't do that. Okay. Now I'm gonna go and just reassemble everything. And that's gonna be a real pain in the butt. But it's just no time like the present. We'll just we'll just do it. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to start the car. I'm going to put a bit of juice in here, spray a bit of soapy water, and we'll just make sure there's no leaks before we go ahead and assemble the rest of it.
Can you hear it? Good. It's holding. This is going to be the area that it's going to leak is on these O rings. And I'm not getting anything. So we're good to go. Let's shut her down and we'll put her back together. Bell, blah blah blah, check us out at Rusty Bob's 201.